So back in 2018 in Philadelphia, these three Antifa members had brutally uh, jumped and beat two uh, Hispanic men, two actually um, uh, Marines. Um, they blinded them with pepper spray and then assaulted them. And they were accusing them of being white supremacists and Proud Boy members, which they were not. Um, the three Antifa members, uh, Joseph Alkoff, Thomas Keenan, and Thomas Massey. Philadelphia is the East Coast stronghold of Antifa. They do a lot of violent organizing there. They have meeting spots and bookstores that they are part of. I write about this in my book. This is in Philadelphia under District Attorney Larry Krausner. Uh, Krausner benefited in his election campaign from George Soros' money. So they get no jail time. Um, they pleaded guilty uh, to some misdemeanor charges. Um, and originally, this is just for one of the men, it's kind of hard to see. But um, look at all the felony charges. This is just for one of them. They had very similar felony charges originally, aggravated assault, um, conspiracy, uh, ethnic intimidation, robbery, um, terroristic threats. Um, in the end, uh, all the felony charges were dropped and there were only uh, the misdemeanor cases there does appear to be the sort of two-tier system of justice in America. Um, if you are in a left-wing jurisdiction and you carry out left-wing violence, violent extremism, um, you have a pretty good chance of being let go. Or even when you engage in very serious, violent crimes, the most you get is a slap on the wrist, as we've seen here. Um, one of the men, Joseph Alcoff, he had been investigated by the Daily Caller a few years ago, by the way, before um, he engaged in violence uh, in that Antifa attack. Uh, so he based, he's based in D.C., comes from a wealthy, well-to-do background, um, from a very established family. Um, he ran a Twitter account under a moniker in Daily Caller, found out it was him, and he had all these posts calling for revolution, calling for the killing of political opponents. Um, and he did a lot of campaigning. He did. He worked in D.C. and did campaigning um, uh, in the Democrat Party, second from the right. That's Joseph Alcoff. But then next to him, uh, the person on the right, all the way on the right, um, that is uh, the author of the Antifa Handbook by the way. Um, Joseph Alcott's on the left and Mark Bray on the right. So yeah, just a, I mean, Mark Bray actually has links with violent extremist Antifa members. Uh, here's a photo of Joseph Alcott in the middle, meeting with Maxine Waters. So yeah, uh, the Democrat Party needs a clean house. Um, but of course, uh, I don't think they do this violent extremism within their ranks as an issue. Actually, probably view it as something they sort of secretly welcome because they have an unofficial paramilitary to carry out violence against their political opponents.